You're listening to Bizarre Buffet, a podcast of all-you-can-eat weird. I'm your host, Mark Toriello. I'm Jen Wilson. And I'm Mark Blustein. There'll be food and drink and ghosts. And perhaps even a few murders. You're all in private. When we first went in, one of the people said, Who are you? And Tex said, I'm the devil, and I'm here to do the devil's business. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Bizarre Buffet. We love fun-filled things. We hope you're filled with fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am. I am, too. Mark looks like he's filled with fun with his I, 3D glasses. Yeah, yes, sure Mom. does. Ooh, what is and she doing? I don't mean to call Mark out, but normally Mark changes his look. He does. Yeah. And, and we just <sighs> recorded an episode before this. You yeah. sure did. The armadillo fucking car. Yeah. Cool and shit ever. Mark is great playing. episode, Jen. Very and good. To that I, topic. I did too. Oh, the armadillo so car. So exciting. If you yeah. haven't listened to it, go listen to it. Yeah. No. But Mark is wearing the same shirt from the last. Right. Yeah. And well, you know, we recording. discussed it and we discussed it before we recorded this. And he, you and, mentioned And he was that, like, no, I'm keeping it. And no, Mark mentioned, he was like, oh, I have a look. Yeah. I'm serving a look. look. I'm so serving I'm looks. I'm curious to know where you're taking us. Yeah, I'm taking us at? to the movies. <gasps> We're going I love to the movies. That's why I'm wearing 3D glasses. I oh, feel boy. very new wave. Yeah. You do. You look like you I belong in a, in a Devo music video. Yeah, yes. Devo or Dun- uh-huh. Whip it. Whip it. Whip it. I'm just really horny for tonight. So yeah. we're going to the movies. We're going yeah. to the movies. Why don't we talk about what our, you know, favorite movies are? Well, top three. Because I, I know we like all the genres. I know and shit, all yeah. three of us. We love, love The Shining. We love The Shining. Yeah. We, like do. All we had this discussion. Yeah. We've had this discussion already. The Shining for sure. Yeah. My other one would definitely be Rosemary's Baby. I have a tattoo. Of it. For, oh, sorry. <laughs> For those of you watching on YouTube, you probably can't see this, but maybe you can. Who knows? Also, New Nightmare, which is a Nightmare on Elm Street film, Freddy Krueger. I love a good Tarantino movie. I love Pulp Fiction. Yes, and I've never seen it. Oh, you must. I must. I agree. John Travolta, Scientology, so horny. That was actually like considered his comeback. He was like just kind of like dying out like Pulp Fiction was his comeback movie oh. can you imagine having a ponytail and having that be your comeback and Samuel L. Jackson like being yeah. your fucking sidekick absolutely and I love Goodfellas such oh, a good movie Goodfellas is good I'm more of a casino girl myself I love a good Sharon Stone moment she plays a great like I don't know everything hot mess yeah I know Mark what about you I love The Shining I think it's like a perfect movie aside yeah. from The Shining my other favorite movie is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. Part 4 is Part great. Part 4 is my favorite. I happen to be wearing Nightmare on Elm Street 3D glasses. Too, he does. Just in support. It says Freddy's dead on the side. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I guess my other one to diversify so I'm not stuck in horror would be Kill Bill. Mm. Another Tarantino yeah. classic. Yeah, love it Kill is. Bill. It I is. have the Kill Bill it. sneakers that Uma Thurman really? wears. Yeah. I remember my Uncle Mark taking me to see Kill Bill in the movies as like a young probably 13 14 year old sitting there like what the fuck is this this is amazing i have never seen anything like this like the amount of blood and guts that were in this movie i was like what the fuck Uh, (laughs) that was my newfound love for quentin tarantino now that we're talking about movies and i'm wearing these 3d glasses that are hurting my eyes are you gonna be able to read with these i'm gonna give it a shot okay okay all right today's topic is Movies that are responsible for viewers' death. What the fuck? So I have a list of movies Mm, that literally killed people. So we're not talking about, you know, like Brandon Lee getting killed on the set of The Crow or like cursed movies because it's all kind of... Or Alec Baldwin. Yeah. And Alec Baldwin, problematic. Poor guy. I know. I stand with Alec Baldwin. Unpopular opinion. Hey, I'll do it too. The first movie that I want to talk about involves 3D glasses okay oh and that's why i'm also wearing the glasses to kind of pay homage to to this okay all right i don't follow superhero movies or any of that stuff Mm -hmm. no girl i mean yeah i don't follow that shit but there's this one it's called avengers infinity war oh yeah 
I saw that. I did not see it in 3D, though. Yeah. For everyone listening, I don't know what that is. It's a Marvel movie. Okay. Literally every fucking Marvel character you can imagine in one movie having a massive orgy. Oh. So hot. There you go. Okay. During this massive orgy of Marvel folk, (laughs) there happened to be a movie theater in India. A 43-year-old man, his name was... Padapasupula. Okay. Okay. Last name is Basha. So let's just call him Mr. Basha. Okay. Mr. Right. Basha. Sure. Uh, India is going to hate me. Hi, we do, India. We, we do, do have, have some listeners. listeners. We do have some listeners. Actually, yeah. believe it or not, we have a pretty decent listener base in yeah. India. I tried. I so tried, he's guys. trying, India. We love yeah. you. And I love the song Goli Mar. So Mr. Basha was discovered dead. In one of the seats of the movie theater after a screening of this Avengers Infinity oh War my God. jazz. No. His death is unknown. It's most likely due to a heart attack. Right. Like there these... was a lot of good looking men in that movie. Oh, oh, maybe. You had like Benedict Cumberbatch and Robert Downey Jr. and oh. fucking Chris Hemsworth who plays Thor oh. and the guy who plays Loki, Tom Hit. Like literally every woman's wet dream on... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every woman, man. Man, yeah. They, them. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Everyone. We're all inclusive. We're here for everybody. We are. Thank well, you. apparently everybody that saw this Marvel movie was really not happy wow. about the movie because I guess some of the, like the characters... Yeah, they pretty much all died. ...killed off. Sorry for oh. the spoiler. Um, oh, and therefore, because they were killed off in this universe, now they're no longer going to be part of the franchise. Oh. Like for the 300 other sequels they're going to make for these. Oh, well, I could see the disappointment in that, I guess, if you're really committed. But then they had another one, Endgame, that came out fucking after it, so. (laughs) Like I said, it was unclear how he died, and it was also unclear as to when he died. During the movie, because it's like almost like a fucking four hour movie. Oh, Oh, shit. I would have killed myself. I would have Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Yeah. No, I don't. Maybe. You never know. Apparently that bad. But he was watching the movie alone. And it should also be noted that no one really knows if it was like a natural death or if his death was because of his reaction to the movie. His emotional reaction or response Mm. to the movie. Wow. The movie is kind of like in the iCloud of like, who did it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. His body was found in the theater Aww. by staff who just assumed that, you know, he was sitting through the closing credits. And, like, took a nap or something. Yeah. He fell asleep. The credits, I fell asleep during it. Reasonable. I, could, I can't fall asleep at the movies. Oh, I can. I yeah. can. But after the credits were over, he was still sitting there. The staff was like, hello, sir, sir, sir. Yeah. Hi, and did it, you enjoy the movie? Yeah. And it wasn't until they removed his 3D glasses <laughs> that he knew that he was dead. Oh, well, that's very grim. No one in the theater heard him struggle. So people are saying that at least his death was probably peaceful. I I would hope so. This was reported in the Times of India. So that's where I got this information from. Hi, Times Times of of India. India. You All should right. put an ad in there for us. You should. At no cost. Thank Sponsor you. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. So, guys, don't watch The Avengers Infinity War with 3D glasses. Yeah, don't do it. I first. can't do 3D glasses. They get me nauseous. Yeah. I, know. I mean, um, especially really. for like that long. Well, even for me, like looking at Mark's 3D glasses, like it's even like fucking with me just like looking at the two colors next to Ooh. each other. Yeah. Sure, it's not my beauty. Oh, uh, well, that like, too. It's very hard for me to sit through a 3D movie like that. Yeah. I feel like whenever I see a 3D movie, maybe it's something with my eyes, but I never really get the effects. It's crappy. Yeah. Like, I never really get what it is that they're trying to achieve. Yeah. It's kind of like looking at a Viewmaster with a headache. Side note, I did see Titanic in 3D. I saw Avatar in 3D. That was really cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's the next uh, one. Oh, uh, yes. Jen. Jen. Yes. Jen. Don't, Fortune teller. Don't watch Avatar because Avatar can kill you. No. Avatar can kill you. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, my God. But the ride in Disney, like the Disney Avatar ride was so fucking cool. Watch someone die on that ride this week. Stop. Because no. we brought it up. You heard oh it here don't first. Ride, don't ride Avatar. Don't do it. So, yeah, I've never seen the movie, but all I no. know is that there's a bunch of blue people and it's highly computerized yeah no. but it's really it's really cool it's visually striking i think for like the art major i think you would really actually oh. enjoy the cinematography is that a james cameron movie it was yeah. jim cameron jim cameron 
it won like every kind of award. It did. It was nominated for best film, but it did not win that year. I forgot what won that year. Oh, I thought it, it did. No, oh, I don't know. You would know better than I would. Definitely won for like best blue people. <laughs> Sigourney <laughs> Weaver was in it. Sigourney oh, she's, Weaver. She's mm-hmm. a patron saint. We love her. In she this was house. in it. It really was a good movie. I wouldn't sit through it 3D again. I, I yeah. just couldn't. <laughs> well, neither will this 42 year old Taiwanese man who oh, no. went to see it in 3D while wearing the 3D glasses. Unfortunately, during the movie, he had a cardiac stroke. Because I guess the sensory overload of the movie was too much for him. After his stroke, he actually passed away 11 days later. But it was because of that. Oh, wow. Wow. Why are these 3D glasses killing people? But was there like scientific proof that it was from the actual movie? No. (laughs) There isn't. They could conclude that there was some sort of... Kind of like I would imagine if you... Have like epilepsy, maybe, and you see a strobe, it could channel something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe something with the effects and the 3D glasses. Hmm. Yeah. Crazy town on Crazy town. But unfortunately, yes, this this man did die from watching it. That's a shame. Jim Cameron, murderer. You want to hear another movie that killed Hell yeah. someone? Yeah. Grab your rosaries because this one is The Passion of the Christ. I've oh. actually never seen that movie. Oh, it's hilarious. It's hey such Mel- a horny hey film. Hey, Mel Gibson. <laughs> hey, Mel Gibson. He's an asshole. He is oh, an yeah. asshole. He's terrible. I remember there was a lot of controversy with that movie when it came out. Yeah, all of the horny Catholics had, you know, I don't know, big issue. I heard issue. it's very disturbing and, like, graphically disturbing. Can I tell you something funny about The Passion? Yeah. It was on Tubi. I would put it on in the last place that we lived at to fall asleep to. It was and kind of atmosphere. some of you, like, woke up in the middle of the night to The Passion of the Christ. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And there would be some like sexy whipping scene. And oh my God, all of these like ripped men with just perfect skin. And just so like, oh my God. I was like, damn. Okay. Mel Gibson. Damn girl, chill. Oh, I'm I'm dramatizing, uh, obviously. I don't know. I have to like reenact the last supper to get him. Oh my God. Don't even start with that. Oh, last supper. Mm. Well, well, for this woman, it happened to be the last movie. Oh, uh, oh God, that's so terrible. Yeah. Well, it's bizarre. It's, it's bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I'm, tor- yeah, I'm listen. torturing myself by wearing 3D glasses yeah. and conducting an listen, episode. Anyone who listens to us, you should know yeah. that, like, this is just what we do. If you, listen, if you listen to us, this is probably part of the reason it's, why you do. Yeah, exactly. Because you love us. Because you love us. Hi. Hi. Mel Gibson. I guess the one cool thing about the movie was that it was kind of gory and over the top. Yeah. Well, during one of the screenings in 2006, 56 year old Peggy Scott suffered from a heart attack during the crucifixion scene and passed away. Oh Oh my God. Now, a month after this happened, the same thing happened again, but this time it was to a 43 year old Brazilian pastor. Who died in front of his whole entire congregation? Oh my while god! While watching the Passion of the Christ, no. yeah. or was it was it while watching the Passion yeah. of the Christ, or was it like him like giving like a what do you call it sermon or whatever? There's, yeah, one of those. Well, I was thinking wafers. I was just picturing him at the altar, like giving a speech and mm. then just having a heart attack. Yeah, just like just like what a I think it's, <laughs> it's one of there. two things. Either I think one they all went. On like a church field trip to the mm. theater to oh, see okay. it. Or number two, I feel like churches probably would acquire the movie and like play it at okay. church. Wow. Or like Catholic schools yeah. and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. Listen, with the whole Jesus movie, I think people need to chill. We all know what happens yes. at the yeah. end. We do. It's like you're not watching the adventures of Jesus in heaven. But it's isn't it like in <laughs> another Passions language too? Yeah, I think it's in. It's like the whole film Latin. is in another language, What's right? The, it's the it's Latin. Lang- it's the language of Jesus. Aramaic. Maybe I'll make Jerry watch it with me on a date night one night. Normally, I would so know cute. this. We usually Be prepared sit. To, we watch you know. some really bizarre movies together, and it's fun. I love it. And then we'd like sit there and we're like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I mean, passion's worthy. I think you should go for it. (laughs) Well, I remember when the movie Titanic came out. When the movie came out, me and my parents saw it in the movie theater. I saw the movie theaters. Yeah. And the film broke. And everyone in the theater was like, oh, come on. Right. 
And my dad got up and he was like, everyone calm down. It's like, we all know what happens. At we the all end. Know. The ship's going to sink. <laughs> you know. We're going to jump to another movie. This one, it's a more obscure film. It's called The Creeping Unknown. Okay. This time, death struck at the cinema upon a nine-year-old boy who, <gasps> I know, he attended a test screening of this movie called The Creeping Unknown. The Creeping Unknown is a 1955 sci-fi horror film. It's also known as the Quarter Mass Experiment, which is like a stupid ass name. Yeah, less popular title for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The film is basically an astronaut returns to Earth after this like experimental space flight mm-hmm. where a bizarre fungus transforms him into a murderous monster. Oh, oh. sounds like like the Blob. Or yeah. yeah, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, Very he is much so in cute. that yeah, element. Okay. Yeah, a hundred percent. Well, during a test screening, a uh, nine-year-old boy was so frightened during the movie that one of his arteries ruptured and he died. Oh my god. Oh god. People need... What the fuck? But it makes me think, like, was he just that scared or do you think he had a problem beforehand, he before going have. into the movie? Well, yeah, yeah, of course. It, absolutely. We went from horror, now we're gonna go into comedy. Oh, stop it. Stop. So there's this movie, I've heard of it a million times, I've never seen it before, but I know it's like an indie classic. It's called A Fish Called Wanda. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. I've never John seen Cleese. It. Fucking, ooh. Fucking, oh. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein. It's wow. like all the Monty Python crew. All of them. In yeah. one film, in one Wanda. Yeah. Like, I've never seen it, but I just remember when I was, like, I know younger movie. and we got... I've seen it, yeah. We, we got cable TV. It was really? always on someone IFC. Someone fucking died watching Fish Called Fonda? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know someone did. Anyone listening and who's like me that's never seen it before, the synopsis is basically... It's from 1988. It's about a gang of diamond thieves who double-cross one another to find, like, stolen diamonds that were hidden from the gang leader... The film has a lot of these like mega superstars, like we mentioned, like Jamie Lee Curtis, John Cleese, Kevin you know, Klein, Kevin Klein, and the rest of the Monty Python crew. <laughs> All of them and Monty. Well, <laughs> there was guys. no Monty, but okay. I have, you know, I'm mad living. And Monty. Monty. <laughs> well, if you guys want to laugh yourselves to death, I'm waiting. You can to this. The film was so funny that Danish audiologist, his name was Ole Benson, he died laughing at the movie. <laughs> oh, and, really brings a new meaning to that term. Yeah. And, and dying of laughter. Dying of oh. laughter. Once a day, I think we We're usually... dying of laughter. Yeah, in text yeah. message. Yeah, most certainly <laughs> dying. are. Yeah, many reasons. Yes. Well, the scene that apparently he found so funny was, I guess... Different characters were shoving French fries up each other's noses because it's just so I mean, funny. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't it's really funny, w- not dying over yeah. money. So we're going to go to the next movie. This okay. one is a really good horror movie. Well, it's not like The Shining, but it's called The Conjuring Part 2. Okay. I love The Conjuring films. Well, are we supposed to go stay there? Yes, and I still want us to. No one gives me a concrete answer when I ask this question. I said that as long as Gonk comes with us. Oh, well, Gonk will come. Gonk would have to come with us. I'm not going unless Gonk comes. I know, we want to go to the Conjuring House. And do do. an episode from the Conjuring House. We do. I think it was recently sold, so I don't know if it's still going to be rented out. Mm. We may have missed the boat, but we can still stay at the Lizzie Borden House. We can. We can. The Conjuring Part 2. So some parts of this movie I actually think are creepy. Like when the the nun is in the hallway and she has like... She has a portrait and she runs towards um, Vera Formiglia. Yeah. Nira. The nun was like... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Jesus. That part was scary. It was. It's interesting because the nun movie was just like horrendous. So apparently this movie was so scary that the 65-year-old man named Tamil Nadu collapsed and died while watching the movie. Now, oh. what the fuck? I, I, I know. I cannot pinpoint the scene or the part of the movie where it happened, but I'm guessing it was the part where, like, the nun was like, yeah, ah, yeah that picture. A picture, and she runs towards that poor woman. <laughs> what the fuck? I know. No, I would have shit. I would have shit. This person died. Oh, also, a few years ago, I, I got dragged to one of those, like, Halloween haunted house things that you walk through. Yeah. And, people, and hey, someone right, someone was dressed up like the nun, but on a hoverboard and chased <laughs> no. after you. 
<laughs> and I was like, I want to do that. And it chased after me, and I was like, you go, girl. I know. <laughs> My next career change in life, I want to work at a haunted house and yeah. chase people on hoverboards. I want to, too. All right, well, cool. We're going to do it together. Yes. All right. That's but, what we're doing. But while we're on this topic of The Conjuring Part 2 and this man's death, do you want to hear something that is another layer of bizarre about of this death? Yes. When his body was being transported to the hospital. Oh, God. Oh, shit. The driver disappeared with the body. We no. never went to the hospital. So Tamil now do is nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So Tamil. He, he died during watching The Conjuring Part Two. <laughs> Tamil oh Madhu, my, where are you? Yeah. Oh my god! And when they picked up his body to transport him to the hospital, it, he never arrived, and no one heard Stop. anything from the um, the driver. The driver disappeared too. Yeah, like permanently. Yeah, like disappeared. Disappeared with the corpse. Jesus Christ. We're on a wacky adventure. It's like Scooby Doo. Tamil, Tamil, Madu, where yeah. are you? Oh my God! I'm sorry. No, but Tamil, Madu, where are yes. you? Yes. Good Tammy. job, Jen. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh wow! Next movie, and this is a blast from the past because we covered this. But Jaws. Oh, oh my Jaws. God! Madawan shark attack. Yeah, in a previous episode. So in a past Sorry. episode, we covered the Madawan <laughs> shark attacks, which is what inspired the movie Jaws. Yeah. As a nod to this episode, I thought I would just bring up this brief point. When Jaws was in the movie theater, there was someone sitting in the front row in the middle of the movie <laughs> during one of the shark attacks. They completely collapsed and went cold. <laughs> what the fuck? There was, oh they God. collapsed. There was even, literally. And there it's was a fucking prop. I know, but they didn't, you know, have... Sharks back in the seventies. Sharks didn't exist. Sharks back were then. not a thing. Sharks didn't swim in the lake. No, no, not at all. Yes, the person died in the middle of the movie, and no. a bunch of doctors happened to be in the audience. <laughs> for what reason? I, I just that by coincidence. I, just in case that the shark comes out of the screen. Oh, that makes sense. And eats you. But shark the died. the doctor people that were there, they did their best to save this person's life, but they did not. Did somebody? disappear with her as well no i don't think so i'm still i'm still stuck on tamil this is the last one this movie is really cool it's very obscure i love this movie you could do an episode on this film and i Mm -hmm. think down the line i probably will okay the last movie we're going to talk about it's called freaks it was filmed in 1932 okay it Really inspired one of the seasons of American Horror Story. Which Freak season? show. Freak, Freak show. show. Yeah. Oh, Honestly, I I have not seen the movie Freaks yet. So like, I've I only, never seen it either. Yeah. Are we have a movie night. We should. It's really good. And <laughs> by like inspired, I mean like American Horror Story completely bit off of Freaks. Yeah, like, I could see a million percent. Yeah. The premise is it's about a trapeze artist who learns that the circus. And I'm going to put this in air quotes, midget, or we're going to say little person because that's like the proper exactly thing to yes. say. But in those times, that's what they said. Yeah. Not me. So don't come for me. No, this, like I've said before, there are certain things that you have to describe in the context of which you were written yeah. from the time. It's not so, our preferred word. So this trapeze artist learns that one of the little people that's part of the circus freak show has a huge inheritance. Oh, I thought I you were going to say something, something else. else. Wow. Jinx. Jinx. Oh, my God. Hey, you never she, know. Hey, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh-huh. So this trapeze artist who is like, you know, tall, skinny, beautiful, blonde woman, mm. able-bodied. She's simply there to be a trapeze artist. She's not deformed or part of this freak show yeah basically like i said she finds out that he has this big financial inheritance Mm -hmm. she ends up pretending to be in love with him no so she can marry him and steal his fortune no yeah i hate stuff like that and then she was also in a relationship with the strong man who is just the strong good looking man so it's literally like freak show by Mm. ryan murray yeah a million percent Word gets out, like the other freaks in the freak show, they all see through her and they're like, she's full of shit. She's after his money and she's exploiting one of her own kind. Oh. And they know that they're scam artists. Good. 
what really makes this movie special and unique is that at the time they actually used people with these deformities to be in the film which was really unheard of at that time. I'm sure. Especially in like the 30s. We're talking like Great Depression. Right. Standing in line for a loaf of bread. Yeah. Some of these sorts of people included Siamese twins, a human skeleton, and a living torso, which was a man without any limbs oh who God. suffered from Tetra Amalia syndrome. Mm -hmm. And there's other people with these different traits and abnormalities that are part of this freak show in the movie Freaks. How does this go back onto topic with people dying? This movie was apparently so shocking that a pregnant woman who was at a test screening had a miscarriage oh my while God. viewing the movie. Did she die? No, but her, I guess, embryo oh, blob that's did. That's so sad. Oh, I mean. I will unless... say this, though. This is my opinion. I'm going to call bullshit on yeah. this. I think she was like a Karen of mm -hmm. the 1930s. Probably. That movie probably rocked her world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or her vagina. And yeah, from, she had a miscarriage. On. But I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, it that's is. That's ridiculous. And it wasn't really proven that the movie caused a miscarriage, but that was what she claimed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like when The Exorcist came out and they had all the footage of the people leaving the theater like, oh, ugh, yeah. I threw up. I passed out. I fainted. Yeah. I fainted. I don't know if anybody died watching that one, but... That would be yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if wow. you would like to get an abortion and you can't because you live in Texas, just watch the movie for oh, We see you, Texas. We see you, fucking Texas. Hi to our listeners who are regular good people, but also fuck the ones who yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. So fuck you. All you Texans out there, watch Freaks. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That concludes the... Death wow. by cinema. I that love was, that. Yeah, yeah, that was really, that was really what out a, of the box. I really enjoyed this episode. Yeah, we're just getting this more and more wild here. the VHS here. box. Oh. 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 But rest in peace to everyone. Yes. Yes. That, that Absolutely. Especially yes. Tamil, who we never found. Yeah. Tamil. I don't know what that man did. I'm sorry. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. This one's for you. Mm-hmm. Pour it out for my homie. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. As always, kids, thank you for joining us here at Bizarre Buffet. Always. We truly love infiltrating you and your ears and your world. So with that being said, you know, go to our Patreon, support Jen, Mark, other Mark, me, Mark. Mm -hmm. Hi. We're and working girls here. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. Helps a great deal. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, BizarreBuffet.com, where you can pretty much see, I mean, all the same things, but sometimes there's some things. That and are a we're different. on YouTube. We are. Hi, YouTube. Hello, as we wave to you. Mm, mm, mm. And um, with that being said, I am Mel Gibson's Passion of the Christ. I'm Tamil Nedu. Oh, I love that. And I'm the nun from The Conjuring Part 2. Oh, my God. Oh, what a great group. It was such a great group. Oh, my God. I want to go to the movies with all three of us. Damn. <sighs> yeah. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Mel Gibson. <laughs>